All right, this is a video on how to do lip syncing in Anime Studio. This will work in Anime Studio Debut and Anime Studio Pro. Um, this is so you don't have to do it the manual way. This uses a program called Papagayo, and you'll see on the screen and in the description links to Papagayo. Um, you just um, install it. It runs on Mac and it runs on PC. So here we've got Papagayo up, and I'm going to drag a voice in, and um, we'll just play this voice. I can stretch my legs up, I can stretch my legs down. Ah, forget it, I'm leaving. Right, now we need the text that goes along with that. And I've got the text uh, here. And I'm going to just basically copy and paste this. And um, what it does is it breaks all the words out into these uh, things called a phoneme. And there's 10 phonemes. So here are the 10 phonemes. Um, this is uh, something that I've made up. This is from Domix, and this is from Cartoon Solutions here. And these are the actual 10. So I need you're going to need to have file names, name these things. Um, and what we can do is I can just show you the mouths. One second. And here you can see I've got the mouths. Um, a, I, E, etc., F, V, L. And I've also created some sad mouths, but I won't cover the sad mouth um, how to do sad mouths in this uh, tutorial. So we've got our sentences here. What I've done is I've broken them up into different uh, sentences. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier to, to use. And basically what you do is you use your left mouse button and you grab things and you make them shorter. And then I'll double click on it here. And if you click here, you can hear the sound, so you can look for the I, 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 I. And you, if you go in the middle, you can move it. Now, if it butts up, you'll see a lot of problems. And we're just gonna... So let's have a look, see what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is this one here. It's the ah, forget it. So here we go. So we need to stretch this A out. And it's not going to do it, is it? Uh, here we go. So as you can see, by moving some of these things here, you can get your, your words, um, you know, you can get your text right. So that's up to you to mess around. So this looks pretty good. So what we'll do is we're going to save it and um, we, can, we can save it out using the save and that just saves this format on the screen here. So what we can do is we can save it out and uh, we'll just save it and I'm going to save it as untitled. I've just saved it into my folder here. And now what we're going to have to do is we're going to export it for Anime Studio. And we can just call it voice and that's fine. And that's it. We're done with that. So um, we don't need to do anything more. Now we're going to bring up Anime Studio. We have Anime Studio up here. It's Anime Studio Debut 11. But you could do this um, in, I know it works in 8 and I'm sure it works in earlier versions. And over here we've got mouths. Uh, we've got, you can see we've got all our phonemes. We've got 10 of them. And what we're going to do is we're going to go get our voice and we're going to drag it in. So here it is. We're going to drag it into Anime Studio. And we're going to prop it up to the top here. And then also we want to get our mouse movements. So let's just see if Anime Studio is working. That looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the mouse and double click here. Go to the switch tab and then go switch data file. Happens to be here. And then we hit OK. And as you can see, it creates a bunch of switch uh, changes in the mouse. And let's see how it goes. And it looks like it might be working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to render this out and let's see how it worked. 
Okay, while I was rendering it out, I found out that I made a mistake, and this is a mistake I always make. You have to go here and change these to just the phonemes. So that has to be AI, this has to be E. You can't have the PNG on the end. Or, and I'll, what I'll show you is, is this file here. This is the things it's looking for. This is the actual uh, things that the uh, Papagayo creates. Um, so it has to look exactly the same as that. So since it doesn't look exactly the same as that, it wasn't working. So I'm going to go do this and change that. And if you create a rig, a mouth rig, what you'll do is you'll just keep copying and pasting the mouths. So oops, you can see I did that one wrong. So that one won't work. So it's got to be uppercase and uppercase and lowercase does make a difference. The only one that was actually working was rest. And as you can see, my WQs and my O's and my U's are exactly the same. And let's see now. And that didn't work. So let's try that again. That's probably a anime studio issue. Now that looks a lot better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to render that out. and We'll see what the video looks like. So here's our rendered video. And when we play it back on the tutorial, it might not look as good as it would if you were going to do it uh, just as a video straight to YouTube. That looks pretty good. Um, we probably could have uh, tweaked the words a little bit in um, Papagayo, but I mean, I'm just trying to give you a good idea of how to do this. What I'm going to do is I'll have a, a separate render of the video um, so you can see how it looks on, um, on YouTube. So to recap, we, uh, we need Anime Studio, Papagayo you can download, a voice file that you created. You're also going to need the 10 phonemes. If anybody wants them, what I can do is I can put my phoneme mal movements uh, somewhere in the zip file so you can download it. Anyways, uh, hopefully this helps the people that use Anime Studio.